Okay, you can use my mic right here. I'll join you. Uh, hi, good afternoon. Um, I'd like to ask well, uh, both Sunny and Bill, I, uh, what are your impressions of the, of the Filipinos you've met so far, and what do you think of the Philippines in general? Well, I, I, listen, everybody's been absolutely wonderful. Uh, to, to me, Sunny, and, uh, and McKenna, and, uh, and I must say, uh, the Filipino singers are too good. <laughs> they are just, they're the best singers. I mean, even when they come to Vegas, uh, those groups are just, just the best, uh, the best in the world, the gr uh, great singers. But the people have been absolutely wonderful to us, very beautiful, and uh, uh, so just thrilled, thrilled to death to uh, be here. Sonny? Yes, um, I'd like to echo uh, Bill's sentiments, of course. I've been here on, on three different occasions, and uh, I recall back back in the 90s uh, when I worked at the Salias Hotel here, and I, I was at Cebu, Baguio, Mindanao, and I've, been, and I've enjoyed every moment of it. And uh, to come back again uh, in the, uh, 2014 is just uh, absolutely amazing. And I just love it. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, culture. I love your culture. And I have many uh, wonderful dress shirts. Yes, and my barone. <laughs> I should have worn my barone shirts. I, I, I look when I come back and I'm wearing something from Cleveland. <laughs> but I think it's wonderful to be back and uh, I, I'm looking forward to performing for you once again. Okay, uh, I guess when you come back here, maybe for the fifth time you can wear your girl. <laughs> yes, I, I, I have at least two dozen. <laughs> yes. Uh, could I ask another question? Okay, um, well, uh, uh, Sunny, uh, since you've been here a few times, uh, what is your favorite place so far in the Philippines? Well, right now, it's where I am right now, this fabulous hotel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But uh, actually, just being in your country uh, and uh, meeting all the people, it's the same warmth and uh, friendliness and acceptance. And uh, as Bill was saying, the Filipino performers and, and the musicians, the artists are excellent. I mean, they're fabulous. I recall when the Flatters came the very first time to the Philippines, they were greeted at the airport. And there was a, a group of singers, Filipino singers, mimicking the Flatters. And we thought that they were playing our records, but it was actually the singers. It's the live performing out on the, uh, on the uh, uh, stage, on the truck, on the back of a flatbed truck. And they were dressed in the beautiful Baroque shirts. And, uh, they were singing, only you. And I said, oh, they're singing our song. And I looked around, it's a familiar Filipino singers. They were called the, uh, the Splatters, they called themselves. <laughs> it was wonderful, very, it was a wonderful surprise. Thank you very much. There you go, thank you very much. And next on our list, uh, may we call on uh, Jessalyn Makahindo from uh, Manila Bulletin. Yeah, I love, uh, love and 
feeling. You lost a loving feeling. Sorry, it's sorry, been, sorry. Uh, been recorded over 50, uh, about 500, 600 times by other people. Elvis Presley recorded loving feeling. And as and like Sonny said, it's a real, it's a real honor when the real talented people uh, do your songs. And uh, so uh, it's always a great, wonderful thing. This is about the feedback. Feedback. That's the guy said, big voice. <laughs> 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 there were two. Yes, yeah, so, but I, there was a song too that uh, there was uh, recorded uh, by you guys, uh, and uh, they use an unchained melody quite often. And you hear it so many places so often. And uh, they did only you in a motion picture that was recently released uh, with uh, the, uh, Robert De Niro, uh, Michael Douglas, uh, Morgan Freeman. It was called Las Vegas, and I think Mary Steenburgen, the female uh, actress in the movie, and there's a nightclub scene, and she's singing only you in the nightclub scene. Yes. And uh, so, they, I mean, all of our songs have been used many, many times, and they're still today, so it's still relevant, and I think that's a huge compliment to, to us both. Okay, thank you very much. And next, may we call on Edwin Salian from Interaction.com. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, my question is for Mr. Bill Mendy. Uh, yes, uh, you've, you've had scored hits uh, in two different decades, in the 60s, and then you became a hit maker again in the 80s with, you know, I by the time of my life, and then Jane Mendy was, was a, a hit from Rose. Uh, what's it like to have uh, two different generations of fans? Uh, 